achieving a great life. There is not a person that I met would not want to achieve a great life. However, the definitions of achieving a great life, I think it is a myth for most people. And I really believe having clarity of everything determines the outcome of everything. So if today your ultimate goal is to achieve a great life, you can just be thinking, okay, if I make a lot of money, I will have a great life, right? There are a lot of people that I met say, if I make a lot of money, I will have a great life. Or so, there are people also say, you know what, I wanna build amazing relationship with people, I will have a great life. You know, I have met a lot of people that really, really, they are a great friend. They build amazing relationship with other people. They are always a giver, they always volunteer, they always give their best resources to other people, but financially, they're doing extremely bad. You, you see what I'm saying? There are people that's physically very fit. Man, you look at their calves, you look at their, their body, their muscle, their six packs. I mean, physically, they are at a 10, but relationship with other people, they might be at a two. So how could you achieve a great life where you just physically fit and financially you're not doing well? Or you are physically not doing well, but financially you are very fit. Does it make sense for you? I think achieving a great life, it's, uh, it's really about connecting the dots. And today I wanna share with you six dots that are all intertwined. They're all connected. And if you want to achieve a great life, the way I look at it is that you have to improve this dot from zero at least to an eight, okay? Anything above eight is bonus. Anything below eight, you have a lot of improvement to do. Um, and if this one dot, you are not at an eight, you are not there yet, meaning achieving a great life for you is not there yet, right? Uh, so let's get right into it, right? The first dot, it's your health. The second dot, is your career slash business. And the third dot, I say personal development, for, for example. The fourth dot, I say spiritually, spiritual. Now again, they're all in, they're all very important. No, no particular uh, order, they're all important. And the fifth dot, uh, family and relationship. And the last dot, I say finance, right? Again, every single dot, they're extremely important. It's not like which one is more important than the other. So I want you to think about it. If today you wanna build a great business, right? Your career, and you go home, and every single day you're having an argument with your partner, with your spouse. Let me ask you a question. Do you believe you can build a successful career and business? The answer is absolutely not, right? If today you want to improve uh, your fitness, but um, your finance is extremely, extremely, extremely bad, that ultimately is gonna affect your health. Am I right, your fitness? So remember, all the six dots are intertwined. Your goal is to connect all the dots and improve on it because understanding they're all connected, Without one of them doing extremely well, guess what? It's gonna affect the other six dots, the other six areas, so, right? You, you follow what I'm saying so far? So with that being said, some of you might say, well, I have more dots, I have more categories, I wanna write down more. No problem, do that. What you wanna do is look at your current dot, the six important dots I just shared with you, or could be more for you, rate yourself from zero to 10. Where are you at right now? And be very, very honest with yourself. Again, when you write on this stuff, you're, you're, you're doing it for yourself. You're not doing it for anybody and try to impress anybody, right? Okay, when it comes to finance, you know what? I'm at a four, meaning, you know what? I'm not making a lot of money. My income is very low. Or your income could be dizzy, but you're overspending your money, so you never have money in your bank account, so I give myself a four, right? Finance could be your credit score, right? Oh, my credit score, you know, if I ever want to get a loan from the bank, I want to, you know, buy a house, there is no way the bank will ever loan me any money because my credit score is a 435, right? So let's say finance is at a four. Guess what, right, I'm four. How about family? 
Relationship with people. How is your relationship with the people around you? Is it very, very, very great? Is it, you know, a lot of laughter? Uh, is it a lot of sharing ideas, open communication? Or is it more of like kind of close? You don't talk much. You know, you do you, I do me type of deal relationship with the inner circle, with the people, your family. Like, wh how is it, right? Oh, you know what? My relationship with my family, with, with the people around me, is an eight. Fantastic. Write down eight. Now, again, you have to be very extremely authentic to yourself, right? So, when it comes to business, right? Career, business and career. How are you doing? Are you making great amount of income every single month where you can pay off your expenses, you have money for saving, you pay the IRS on time. Are you feeling good about what you do? Are you in a position, are you in a career, a business that allow you to have unlimited potential if you're willing to work hard? If you had a job right now, do you have a boss that allow you to have a chance to make more money if you are willing to add value? Or is it already capped, right? Are you in a business per se that is allowing you to scale if you're willing to invest your time, is there a chance for you to do so, right? So rate yourself in business, right? Spiritually, you see when I talk about spiritually, it's a very sensitive topic and uh, you know, everybody believe in a different uh, higher calling, right? So I'm not gonna get into different religion and, and per se because everybody have their own belief. So that's not what I wanna talk about in, 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 this, in, in, in what I'm trying to say when I'm talking about spiritually, right? When I talk about spiritually, I'm not just talking about you talking about God, you preaching about God. There are a lot of people preaching about God. A lot of people speak about God, but they don't live what God teaches them. You know, you know what I'm saying? So how grateful are you? See, being spiritually, it's also being grateful. Knowing where you come from. You know, when you were nobody, when you were just kind of like struggling, who gave you the opportunity per se? Uh, or you still are nobody right now, okay? Could be you still are nobody. You know, you're not doing well financially. Spiritually also being grateful of what you already have and the people who's around you, who's supporting you, even you are nobody. And you're being grateful. Now that to me is that you are very spiritual, right? Do you look at the cup half empty or half full? Are you a victim mentality all the time? Or are you being graceful? You know, appreciate life, appreciate you know, just in general of everything. You know, if you're not happy with what you have right now, start to change your lens, how you look at things. And being spiritually grateful is the most important thing in order for you to get to the next level in every other dots that I just talked about, right? So rate yourself, okay? Spiritually, zero to 10. Are you, are you just like always bitter, angry, jealous, manipulating, playing games? If you, if you belong to any of those things I just talked about, that's, that's because you're not spiritually firm and strong, because you're not grateful. Do you understand what I mean? Um, what else? A personal development. When was the last time you maybe read a book? You know, leaders are all readers. If you don't read, you're gonna fall behind. You're not gonna be able to catch up because the society, uh, this world, um, technology, business, everything is evolving very quickly every day. So if you're not reading, you're not attending valuable seminar that teaches you strategies, the right philosophy, the right principle and value, you're gonna fall behind, right? So rate yourself, personal development, zero to 10. So you see what I'm saying? So you got those six things I just talked about, six dots, and rate down one is like, okay, family, I'm at a eight, I'm doing pretty good. Finance, you know what, I'm at a four. Self-development, you're right. Personal development, I have never read a book, so I'm at like more of the last time I read a book was like six years ago, and, and the only book I ever read was Facebook. Okay, I put myself at a one. Spiritually, you know what, I could do a lot better. I rate myself at number five. You follow what I'm saying? Once you rate yourself, I want you to focus on an area, on the dot or dots that is below eight. And I need you, and I'm challenging you to write down three call to actions to improve in this dot, in this area. For example, health, you know, you're not feeling well. You're fatigued all the time. You're tired and you rate yourself at a four. So three calls to action. How are you gonna improve it? Call to action number one could be, I am gonna to commit to exercise 
45 minutes on a daily basis, Monday through Friday. Bingo, that is very specific. Second call to action, I am going to not take any sugar, no more sugar. Call to action number two. Number three, I'm gonna start to sleep a little bit earlier instead of staying up so late and watching Netflix. I'm gonna sleep a little bit earlier and wake up a little bit earlier. So I'm gonna go to bed at 10.30, I'm gonna wake up at 6.30. So I can have full of energy. So I am gonna have this three calls to action to improve my health. Bingo, now you got it down. Let's go to your business and career. You wanna make more money, right? But, but, but you're stagnating, right? So what are the three calls to action that can help you to make more money? Uh, learn a new skill set. This skill set, my company needs, uh, needs it, nobody does it. This is one skill set that I'm gonna take a class on to increase my skill set this year, so that way I can stand out among all the people I'm working around me, working with, right? And number two, I gotta get into a new profession or a new industry that allowed me to utilize what I'm great at, which is, for example, some of you are great in selling. You know what? Love selling because sales has unlimited potential. So I'm gonna go out into sales. That could be a call to action. And what kind of sales? Is it real estate? Is it insurance? Is it car sales? Is it uh, real estate sales? Is it what kind of industry you wanna be in? So you have to be very, very specific, right? How do you develop a better relationship with your family? Let's just say you and your son is not talking that much lately, right? Right on three calls to action to improve your relationship with your family. In this case, your kid, your son. Guess what? Spend 15 minutes a day just to speak to your son, just 15 minutes. Your kids doesn't need you 15 hours a day, but when they need you, they need you. No cell phone, no TV, just speak to him 15 minutes. Hey, how's your day? You know, tell me what, ex what, which part of the day excite you the most. When you wake up in the morning, what, what, what gets you excited? Name one or two things I can do to help you to feel loved. Do you understand what I'm saying? So remember, if you can write down those six dots and rate yourself from zero to 10, anything below eight, you write down three specific call to action, specifically to improve on it. Guess what happened? It's gonna take a little bit of time. It could be a year from now. It could be 18 months from now. It could be 20 more from now. All this start, all this start started all connected. Boom! Once you connect the six dots, your life is gonna become better and better. And that's how you're gonna be able to achieve a great life one day. Having a great life is not just one dot, it's more dots than just the one dot. If you find any value out of my video today, I'm asking you to do a couple things. Number one, share this amazing video to anyone that you believe deserves to have a great life. Think about what I'm saying. There are people in your life today need to be listening to this video. Share this video, make a comment, let me know what you learned today. So your comment actually inspired me to continue to make videos like this. Number two, download my Just Win app, okay? At the end, you can download it. Inside my app, it has thousands of free content videos you can follow and watch me on a daily basis. I spent many years to produce all this content so that way I can help you and add value in your life and to the people that you care about, okay? So, with that being said, guys, have a great day, and I'll see you very soon. Take care. JW here. If you like my content, comment below and download my JW Just Win app. See you next time.